All right, so here is a story. Um, I didn't change the cursor on this one, so um, basically go and like the video you like better. Which one has the big cursor or the little cursor? Whichever one you like better, give that one a like. And we'll go with whichever got the most likes about whether or not we do a little cursor or a big one. So this is another story from Story Weaver. I got a little busy, um, but I promise I'm going to be finishing the other stories. Um, Story Weaver is an open copyright site, repository, or group of books that encourage people reading all over the world. Many of the stories are from Pratham books, but not all of them. So this one's a level two. It means the words are a little harder. And there is 17 pages. So one of 17 is the starting here. And it's called The Pig with the Runaway Tail. His tail is missing. And did it run away? I guess so. He's looking for it. Up and up and up. He's looking it. Looks like it's a beautiful day with the white puffy clouds and the blue sky. Poor little piggy. He's black and white spotted with a pink belly and pink nose. I think it's kind of a peach really. So the author is Paranita Shetty and the illustrator is Parvati Pillai. And I may have said both of those names wrong, I'm sorry. Well, without further ado, let's go to the next page, page two. Pongal the pig loves sleeping. Sometimes she sleeps all day. Oh, that sounds lovely. No wonder her tail gets bored easily. Oh my gosh, her tail has hopped off and it's got one of those little bindle sticks. A bindle on a stick. A bindle stick. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's where there's a wrapped up cloth on the end of a stick so you can hold things in it. This one is a red cloth, which is interesting because you don't see any other red cloth. So that tail had to go get itself a cloth to then bundle up its presumed belongings. One day, when Pongal wakes up from her afternoon nap, her tail is nowhere to be found. It has gone on an adventure without her. Oh my goodness. Poor little Pongal, just sleeping away a puddle of drool. And one, two, three flies buzzing around her. All right, well, let's see what happens. On to page three. And the three's like this. The pig feels silly without a tail. So she decides to go look for it. Oh, I don't know that she, that's silly. She looks pretty upset. Her mouth is big and open like a sea. Her eye is wide and drippy. I think she's getting ready to cry. Her tail is gone. Looks like the flies like on um, Pongle's bed better because they're not following Pongle. They're still over by the bed. Alright, well let's go next. Scratch. This forest is too is much too untidy, Pongle says. Yeek! Took. She trips over a log. Thrum. She falls into a bush. Oh my goodness. She is having a tough time. So she trips over a log. She lands on the grass and falls into a bush. And what do we see in the trees above? That certainly looks like a pigtail to me. I wonder if the tail will help. It is a little ironic. A pig saying that the, the forest is untidy. Has anyone seen my tail? 
Pongo asks. Why don't you try a mushroom tail instead? Langer replies. Humph, Pongo says. Oops, she's got a shiny red mushroom on her butt now. Hmm, you think it's a good tail? Pongo says. But I want my own tail back. She goes to look for it somewhere else. Well, Lee Langer's like, hey, let me just help you out. Since your tail left you, maybe. Oh my goodness. There's cars and bicycles and merchants. Whoa, this city is much too noisy, Pongo says. Beep, beep. She dodges a zigzagging auto rickshaw. Oh my goodness, they almost hit her down. Ding, ding. She tries to crawl under a bicycle. Well, that's dangerous. Mama Monster here has family where they had their ankle broken from someone running over them with a bicycle. Normally, you wouldn't think that you'd get hurt, but you can. I love the colors in the city and the white background. Because in the, in the forest, there's the sky and everything is kind of this green with little ghost, um, like fireflies. But in the city, it's a, almost stark white. It's not quite right because you can see the difference between this and that. But it's just an off-white. Has anybody seen my tail? Pongo asks. Well, why don't you try a balloon tail instead? Crow replies. Ah! Oh my goodness, she's floating away. <laughs> Pongo says. But I want my own tail back. But I want my own tail back. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you see her balloon? Or do you see a pig face? Here's a pig face with the ears and the nose. Goodness. And it's her tail. Her tail's hiding among the balloons. Although it looks like a balloon was not in the cards for her tail replacement. Umph. This cave is much too dark, Pongo says. Oh, Pongo's a kind of a negative pig, isn't she? She carefully steps forward on the stone floor. She tumbles into a pile of rocks. Oh, look at all of the little drawings. Oh, there's a bat. And the cave drawings of fish. And land animals. And it looks like an, oh, is that an elephant or a mammoth? An eyeball? A hawk? Symbols of maybe grain or water? That's cool. You see, early artists might have used other materials, but those didn't last. But the cave paintings, the stone paintings did. So there is paintings from a very, very long time ago. Has anybody seen my tail? Pongo asks. Alright, we're 8 of 17. So we're... Looking about housies. Oh, this is Pongo just closer up. It, it's a little confusing. Okay. Why don't you try the lead type tail instead? Bat replies. Oh, they tweet tweets. Well, they don't tweet tweet. They squeak squeaks. Oof. Pongo says, look, she's got a slack tail. It actually kind of matches her. But I want my own tail back. She goes to look for it somewhere else. She's got a, I, I love the way they do the fire here. That looks very flowy. It's got a little stop. It shows the little kind of sp spots where the fire will give off like sparks or other little bits. Ooh, she's in the water with pink jellyfish everywhere. And there's kind of a two couple, oh, three. One, 
two, three kind of guppy looking fish. Oh, here's a fourth one. They're translucent like the jellyfish. Wow. Splish, splash, psh, psh. It's much too wet under the ocean, Pongo says. I don't know what she's saying, but look, she's having a fun time. She's spinning around. She's swimming her arms. I mean, I guess that's not her forever home, but it's a fun place to visit. Dum, dum. Dum, boom. Some colorful fish want to dance with Pongo. Oh, Pongo's dancing with the gold. Doo -doo. Glowing. The pink jellyfish. And it's kind of a tan and a green and a purple and kind of a violet looking almost translucent fish. I can't tell if this is like a kraken or if this is just a shape of reef. And what do we see in the background again? It's a big tail! Goodness, it's going on quite the adventure too. Whoosh! She hides behind some coral. Has anybody seen my tail? Pongo asks. Why don't you try a seaweed tail instead? Turtle replies. Ugh! Pongo says. But I want my own tail back. She goes to look for it somewhere else. She does have some strong preferences. Alright. <gasps> She's in the desert. Ooh, do you think the desert's a good place for her? No, definitely does not. She is a dragon herself across the sand. Goodness. Plunk. This desert is much too hot. Pongo says, whoosh. She doesn't realize she is sitting at the edge of a dune. Whoomph. She rolls all the way down to the bottom. Uh, has anybody seen my tail? Pongo asks. Alright, good, good luck there, girl. Good luck. What's a camel? Why don't you try a cactus tail instead? Camel replies. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Pig squeals. But I want my own tail back. She goes to look for it somewhere else. Oh my goodness, it looks like she got stabbed by the spines on, a, on the cactus. Ouchies, ouchies, ouchies. <gasps> but look. Who else is there? Who else is along for the visit, for the adventure? <gasps> it's her tail! Did you find it? That was good. Alright, we're at 14 to 17. <laughs> the top of a mountain is much too cold, Pongo says. I would agree, especially since she doesn't have any wintering clothing. Aye. The rest of the world is a long way below. Thump, thump, thump. She steps back before she feels too dizzy. Oh, look at her. She's just shivering her lines off. Ooh. Can you see if we can find her tail? Where do you think it is? Is it over here? Over here? It's over here on the snowball. Alright. Let's do it again. Poor little Ponko. Has anybody seen my tail? Pongo asks. Why don't you try a sock tail instead? Yak replies. Pongo stares at her newest tail. Oh, she's using a sock. That, that's a good option. Alright. 
I think she's liking the sock tail. This is very pretty, Pongle says. She remembers all the other tails she tried on. Humph. I'm certainly not going to wear a cactus ever again. You, 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 me both. No touching tac cacti. Cactuses. Cactus. But having so many different tails is actually quite fun. Everybody else has the same one forever, she realizes. Pongle comes to a decision. The trail. The tail can travel the world and have its adventures. The pig will stay back home and have her own adventure. Let's see, we're at 16 of 17. Do you think your tail's gonna come back? Let's see. Alright. So, the, so, Pongo comes to a decision. The tail can travel the world and have its adventures. The pig will stay back home and have her own. They work on a different fun tales. <gasps> Ooh, let's see here. Let's see here. Do 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 do. Uh, Oh, it's just the tail having adventures. I, I thought it was letters. And I was trying to understand. So let's see here. So, tail taking a nice bath. Tail flagging down people for assistance, probably. Yeah. Alright, so. And then, holding a flag, looking through a magnifying glass, reading a book, which... I mean, I'm kind of okay with the other things occurring, but if you, you need eyes to read, because there's definitely nothing to do sound or tactile touch for him. From what we can see, that is not a braille book, my friend. Look, he made a snowman. He's pretending to find another tail in love. He's got a cabin. They're flying in an airplane. And he's flying in a UFO. Alright, and that's the end. I hope you liked the story. Thanks so much for listening, and you have a great day.